Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Shusham and today we are diving into an exciting topic that has been highly requested by lots of people and as you can see the page I hope you understand the topic and in this video I will walking you through installation of the free PBX for the beginners whether you are new in coding or asterisk or you know telephony system or looking to refresh your skill this video will provide you with a solid foundation to start your telephony system journey but before we get started if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the click the bell icon so you never miss out on future tutorial and tips all right let's jump into it so first i'm going to tell you what is the free pbx free pbx is an open source graphical user interface for managing and controlling asterisk a widely used open source communication software asterisk itself is a framework for building communication application with the ipvx system uh, i hope you know the what is a pvx pvx is a private branch exchange so let's start how to install it and it's a you know, very easy to install in any server today we are going to install the free pbx 14 so as you can see on my screen free pbx 14 i have mount the, the first iso okay so i have downloaded the iso and i mount the iso into here and here is the written free pbx 14 installation with the 13 is recommended even there is a asterisk 15 also there and uh, there is the advanced installation where you have to put everything but for the beginner i am going to show you a quick basically the installation that will be preferable for you i am going to hit the enter if you have a output of the vga then you select the vga or if you have a serial then select the serial one i am going to select the output of to the vga it's showing free pb standard So as you can see uh, the root password has not set you have to set your root password so I have already set the root password now Installation process has already started. You have to wait. At least it takes maximum 15 to 20 minutes. And it will automatically install every drivers and packages here. So you can see now uh, the 689 uh, packages are going to you know installed. So once the installation has completed, then I will back again so as you can see uh, the post installation has already started so now as you can see the installation has completed uh, it's asked for the reboot so now you have to press the reboot button and wait for until the system is up again So I'm going to use the VI command for this and then etc sysconfig network script and then ethernet zero now I'm going to hit enter then you can see the boot prototype is DSCP so what you have to do you have to do you have to put the static here Then uh, you have to put your IP address. IP A double T R is equal to. Uh, for the uh, security reason, I am not putting my proper IP address. 
but let me show you if you have 192.168 let's assume do you have this IP 2.10 and you have to put the subnet marks I'm using 24 then the gateway of your router and the DNS Then you have to save it and just service network restart this is the command to restart your network adapter once uh, the network you know setup has done then you have to put your IP address or the domain here and you have to give the username let me give the username here let's say example I'm just giving here a email address now I have to go to the free PBX administrator put your username password let me skip this one there are a few advertisement will be come up I have to select your language and time zone so here is your firewall okay so you have to continue and then you have to put the firewall configuration whenever you are putting apply then it will come up the things and then you have to click on the next and now my firewall has already set up just putting yes it's loading and you can check the this is the dashboard where you can check the interface activity uh, the network interface activity and here are the summary the asterisk firewall configuration in mysql fail to ban all the things are running and firewall com configuration are little bit you know there, there is a pending things because the you have to uh, put the interface as a public or dmc or the internal and here you can click on the extension you can create your extension from here there are the few options are there we are using pgzip here you can put the extension display name as a test you can put the color outbound id and putting zero here and here is the voicemail settings and the follow me and the advance and then submit and you have to apply whenever you are submitting any changes in the configuration you have to always remember you have to click on the apply config this is the outbound call limit you can set how many calls are you know limit for things but obviously this is the paid service and this is the inbound routes where you can put the inbound routes it's a little bit delay okay so here's the add inbound route you have to put here the DID and the destination if you are putting the group or the queue number you can put it if you have IVR as like welcome to ABC solutions uh, you can put the IVR also here are a few modules for the asterisk CLI and backup and restore process you can take the backup and restore via this module okay here is the trunk where you have to put the trunk if you have a VoIP or PRI okay so you have to put there you know, username password uh, or it, if it is IP based then you have to put the IP based uh, here's the thing 
So here is the installation uh, process of the free PPX. I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any query, drop us mail or the put in the site. Uh, we are definitely going to help you it out. And this is the basic thing. And there are a lot of things are there in the advanced level as like extension creation, queue, group, IVR, trunk, how to create the trunk, how to put the Sangama card. Uh, these are the advanced level. Thank you. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you like it.